Hey, this is this is indeed Walt from the Comic Book Men, and uh, you're listening to the I Walter Show. Did you know that a young boy drowned the year before those two others were killed? The counselors weren't paying any attention. They were making love while that young boy drowned. His name was Jason. Jason was my son, and today is his birthday. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird brain. It's a plane. It's I, Walter. I, Walter. Yes, it's I, Walter. Strange visitor from another planet who came to Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. I, Walter, who can change the course of mighty rivers, bend ears with his annoying voice, and who disguised as Walter Interanti, mild-mannered janitor for a great metropolitan newspaper, fights a never-ending battle for truth, nonsense, and the American way. And now, another exciting episode in the adventures of I, Walter. All right, this is Walter from I, Walter. I am actually at Rory's... Hall oh, yeah. and um, Blairstown, New Jersey, and I actually have have the pleasure of interviewing the owner, Mark. Yes, Mark Clifford. Mark Clifford, that's um, me. Appreciate that. Oh, it's um, my t- pleasure. Yes, um, tonight it is for Friday the thirteenth. You guys are doing, I think, guess the second time since last fall. Um, an actual show. I honestly movie. don't have all the Friday 13ths memorized, oh. but we've done this movie here at least five or six times. Five or six yeah. times? Okay. Oh, yeah. That part's pretty cool because, I mean, were you around when they actually uh, shot the film back? I remember I was when I first saw it back. Well, I was born in 1952. Okay. So, yes, I was around. Alrighty. So, do you, when <laughs> no. everybody was in town, no. I apologize. I was, n- I was not in Blairstown. Oh, you were in Blairstown? In 1980, no. Oh, no, I was okay. not. This place was owned by a guy named Bob Reese, and it was not a theater in 1980. It was an auction house. Oh, oh and Bob Reese was the guy who rented all the props for the kitchen and everything up at the camp oh. out of his auction house to the Noby Busco, to, well, to the filmmakers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, how do you say it again? Because I know Noby Bosco is actually no, what they Noby, call Noby Bosco. Bosco is actually what they called camp. We've Crystal actually Lake. got some people here that could give you a lot of information on that, but <laughs> I think they're in the bathroom. Oh, they're in the bathroom? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, do you know how it actually got started? Like, with, um, I guess it was always big for years, but I guess now they're doing. When they can, I guess, um, tours and stuff of the campsite. For well, the Boy Scout camp is doing tours when the camp is available. Yeah, yeah. The camp is not available today, so we're here. Yeah. Today is Roy's Hall, Friday the 13th celebration. Right in Blairstown where the film was actually shot on location. I guess for most of it was Blairstown and actually in um, Hope, New Jersey. In I Hope, mean, in Hardwick. Yeah. Actually, uh, you know, all the wood scenes and all of the, well, basically all of the action after the introduction to the movie, when you see the young lady come into town and everything, that's all filmed in Blairstown and Hope. But once she makes it, well, she never makes it to the camp. No, but, no she doesn't. <laughs> but once the camp scenes begin, it's all in Hardwick. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, was Hardwick where the camp Oh, they go, Excuse or? me, they go back to the diner. Yeah, the diner yeah. they do. Actually, yeah. the girl does make it to the campground, but not alive, the young girl. Because. That's right, right. Yeah. yeah, she passes the entrance, jumps out of the Jeep. Yeah. Yeah, and gets slaughtered in the woods. Unfortunately, yeah. 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 Now, I think, I, if I remember correctly, um, the woman, the actress, I forgot her name already, she wasn't originally, uh, what do you call it, um, picked for that part until the very end of the film, I guess, of shooting. Which woman are you talking about? Uh, the what? The mother, first. Betsy. Betsy, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. yeah, Betsy. I thought they didn't pick her up until the very end of the film. I have no idea. Oh, no. I thought I read that. But they certainly got rid of her in style. Yeah, they did. Yeah, and uh, that started the legend with Jason and Mom, yeah. I guess, so to speak. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess you get a um, Blairstown gets a lot of visitors from like everywhere. Yeah, it does. 
from all the time. All the time. I even heard from other countries too. Even tonight, I think we. And not not just on Friday the thirteenth. I mean, people. Yeah. I, well, you had somebody from Australia tonight. I've heard from really? other countries. Yeah, we actually had someone who was in the movie here. He's here right now. Yeah, I, I yeah, yeah, the guy in the truck was is here right now. I actually watched in the film while yeah. we were doing the podcast, which is really cool. It is really cool. Yeah. Now you guys have other things obviously going on besides Friday Thirteenth, but that's a big draw, a thing that draws. People. Well, we we do the movie, of course. Yeah, uh, we've done other films, but we are mostly. A live music house. We yeah. do. You know, it's most our main thing is music. Okay. Um, anybody? So, anybody know, famous? Yeah. Well, famous well, or whatever. I mean. Well, let's yeah. see. Well, we over the years uh, before it was actually called Roy's Hall, we were the historic Blairstown Theater, and yes, we've done some people who are relatively famous. Okay. Steve Earle's been in the room. John Osborne's been here. Ricky Lee Jones has been here. We've had some pretty monstrous talent in the space, and it's it's been a real it's been a real pleasure being around people of that caliber, and uh, and a lot of lesser known musicians who are absolutely fantastic, you know. So tomorrow night, James Maddock. Okay, he's out of, out of New York City. He's an Eng- he's a native of the UK, but he's now living in New York City, and he's a monstrously good songwriter, and he'll be in here with a crack band. I believe his drummer works with the Spin Doctors. I know uh, other other members of the band have long track records in the business, and they're you know supremely talented. So it's gonna be good. That sounds pretty good. I've noticed in the hallway you have a big uh, door for uh, the, the doors door. Yeah, yeah. That, that's. That was bad. done by a local artist named Richard Burton. Okay. Is and his true? girlfriend Elizabeth Taylor. Hang, no, no, her name is <laughs> her name is. Mary Beth, yeah, Mary, 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 Beth. Mary Beth. She's, she's, yeah, Mary Beth Cherney. You know her. Who am I talking to over here? Passerby. Oh. Passerby. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Yeah, it's a lot you of fun. Guys got a lot of interest and stuff inside Roy's Hall. I mean, there's a lot to see. Again, Friday Thirteenth is the same theme tonight, but there's other stuff you. Have That's one of my out. favorites, right there. Ah. Bruce Springsteen. Um, no, he did not play here. Okay, I was going to ask that, but no. he answer my question. But if you notice, if you read the the plaque, yeah, Mark Clifford. Yeah, who's that? <laughs> no, no. Um, it is you. It is me. Yes, it is you. Yeah, very nice plaque. I mean, there's a lot to look at besides yeah. you know this in here. There's a lot. The artwork around here is done by Don Stetner and his dad. Okay. Um, Micah, I think his name was. Um, his father, the, another local artist, Sheila Grotsky. They're well represented around the theater. They've got a lot of art. All righty. Um, this is all Don's work That's really uh, nice, that the like podcast that. audience cannot see. They can't see it, but they can come down and actually but it's, check Yes, it they could. It's one of the most interesting collections of, of angry pig paintings you've ever seen oh yeah right. very abstract but very that's right nice. yeah um, um i mean so you bought this a few years back i guess recently. 2011 okay yeah um and even tonight with the thing going on with the friday the 13th i guess some of the proceeds will be going to help we're funding a new movie screen okay yeah that's the idea that's the point of this okay. we did a large advance sale of uh, people who donated considerable amount of money to our effort to, to buy a new movie screen. We, we we urgently need an electric movie screen because of uh, right now we don't have the ability to quickly transform the room from a movie theater to a concert stage. Oh, okay. And we need That's to be able right. to do that. We can't, there's no f- way we can do movies and then have be instantly set up for a band. It just doesn't work. Yeah. We, we need an electric screen so we can send it up and down at will and be ready in minutes rather than hours. Oh, it takes hours yeah. to switch it? Oh, it does. You know, the wow. stage has got to be completely empty. The screen is really large. It has to be laid flat. Wow. The stage needs to be empty. I can't have drums and guitar amps and bass amps and monitors and everything else set on stage. i gotta, I got to move them all. Wow. It doesn't work well. Yeah, I didn't realize I was yeah. heavily involved, so to speak. But yeah, technically, uh, it's it's a real 
It's a challenge. But the electric screen will relieve a lot of that effort and make it a lot easier for us to uh, do movies. Okay. Yeah. And we want to do movies. We've done the Big Lebowski in here. We've done some Hitchcock. Uh, we've done some really interesting stuff. So. Yeah, it's funny because I actually live near uh, Phoenixville, and they're trying to restore that one. That's where they uh, shot part of the film, The Blob, the original Blob. I, I remember that movie scared the hell out of me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was definitely. Really, I was a little kid. What year was that? Do you remember? It must have been 59 or 60. I think so. I think so. It's around then. Around the fifth, late 50s. Uh, maybe earlier. Yeah, because I couldn't have been more than. I couldn't have been more than six or seven years old at the. Okay, yeah, I was but anyway, that. I remember seeing the anime, uh, the Gulliver's Travels. Oh, okay. I went to see, and uh, the previews were for the Blob. Oh, yeah. And when when it started oozing out of the movie projector room in the movie theater, yeah, I was absolutely terrified. As a matter of fact, I. I think I spent the whole ride home on the back <laughs> the floor of my parents' station wagon. That is fun. Cowering in fear because the next time I went to a movie theater, all I could think of was a blob coming out of the projected booth, you know? Well, they have a plaque, I guess. When you, well, they do. When you go to the movie theater, you sit all the way to the top where the blob in comes In Phoenixville? Out. In Phoenixville, yeah, they have that It's in Pennsylvania, is that right? It's in yeah. Pennsylvania, yeah. But so not far from King of Prussia area. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, I've been there, and they're doing the same thing. They're trying to restore it, actually, and put new screens in as well. Yeah, good for them. Yeah, and they do have live uh, concerts. They're going to have a blob fest. They do. I went to the yeah. blob fest one time. They had the guy who, original guy who played in the costume of the creature from the Black Lagoon there. <laughs> really? Yeah. I used to be so into that. I used to build models of oh, that was the creature great. of the Black Lagoon and Wolfman. And- oh, I know. They're classic horror movies. Oh, yeah. I used, to, I, used to, I used to have a monster club. Oh, really? You know, this is going, going back when I was, you know, 12, okay, you know, yeah. 11, 12 years old. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, we have a new, I guess, genre of uh, monsters, but they're not as classic as the ones Frankenstein, the blob. I mean, Frankenstein. Um, Come on, Frank, Frankenstein, the Wolfman. Right, Dracula, Dracula. The Mummy. Right, creature of the, from the Black Lagoon. Yeah. You know, they were the original like monsters. They were the classics. Phantom of the Opera. Can't yeah, forget yes, him. Yeah, that's man. true. Oh, You're yeah. right about that. Yeah. yeah, there were good movies. I've actually seen all those films. Uh, there's different ones of um, Phantom of the Opera. There's the silent one, and then there is the silent film. And then there's... There's quite a few. There is quite a few. Yeah. The f- I guess the first two, uh, Lon uh, Chaney, I think played. I think in the Lon movie. Chaney, and then um, that's Lon Chaney Senior. Okay, okay. Not Junior. Junior, yeah. Junior was a Wolfman. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, I gotta tell you, I like Abbott and Costello with those guys, man. That was great. Actually, I do too. Yeah. Abbott and Costello meet the Wolfman, Frankenstein. Frankenstein was played by uh, a couple different actors, I guess. Uh, Boris so, Karloff was always the best. Yeah. Yeah. So he could break the typecast of being always Dracula. Bella Lugosi. He was he was excellent too. And Christopher Lee played Dracula. Yeah, I'm a sure few. He did. Yeah. I think that was early seventy. Was that? Uh, I don't know. I'm 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 certainly no scholar on movies or anything. Oh. I just know the remember the movies I used to dig when I was little. And I was I was really into the old monsters. That was a some of those actually are making a comeback. I mean, um, actually on Saturday nights there's a show called um, Sanguli or something. It's on uh, Channel Two on cable, I guess. And he shows the old classic horror movies sometimes. Well, I'm I'm at a loss because I shut my television off in oh 1994. Oh, I wish I could do that. Yeah, I haven't watched real TV since 1994. Oh. Do you watch TV? No, it's not 94, 2004. 2004. What am I yeah, talking still, about? Yeah, that's, that's a long time. Yeah. yeah. Everybody was very upset with me. Daddy, you got to get the TV back. It's and I said, I'm not watching that guy Bush for one more second on television. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> no, it was definitely politics that, that turned me off to television. Politics well, and politics and, and, uh, and, and the media. Oh, they yeah. ruined television for me. Well, that's mm-hmm. making a comeback this year. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. Politics and the media. I mean, yeah. 
Yeah, in a whole different way. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not go there. Okay. Let's talk about movies. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good. Um, Actually, the movie that I'm, that's running right now is calling me back into the room. I need to. No, that's fine. You know. Hey, I appreciate, you know, doing this. This is great. Well, cool. Um, Mark Clifford, folks. Yeah, thanks. Thank you for, um, you know. Thanks. It was a pleasure talking with you. Yeah. I, I'm. I hope you come back out next time we run the movie. I really, I will. It probably will be before the 13th. Well, if it doesn't coincide with Blobfest, you know. The Blobfest, if you're up that direction, I'll probably be there, too. So um, That'll yeah, be fun. It's, it's my neck of the woods, so to speak, I guess. Who was in like. that movie? Was Steve McQueen in that movie? Yeah, they actually, I guess he couldn't get any other How did parts. I remember that? It was something I guess he just did, but yeah. It's, he was young. He was really young, yeah. Yeah. I don't think he expected to do as well as that film, actually. I remember came. that. Yeah. I was young once. <laughs> <laughs> we were all young once. Mike, Mike right? Walter. 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 Walter, I'm sorry. Walter? It's yeah. a real pleasure talking with you. Thank you. Mark. Yes, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for doing the podcast. Maybe I'll get, I will get more ratings, trust me. <laughs> no, you will. I will. All right, folks, this is Walter from my Walter. Signing off for now.